Welcome back. Finally, we've hit the time of year where we can actually go outside. We now can fire up our grills and smokers. We met up with an expert at Third Street Tavern to figure out how to make the best ribs possible. Take a look. First step is with your uh, ribs, they're always going to have this membrane on them. So you can kind of see I pulled up this flab. You can use a little tine of a fork. It's super handy. You just go along the bone and it'll pull it up. It's always good to have a towel with you. And then you're going to actually just take the towel and grab onto that skin, which is going to pull this membrane all the way off. It's actually going to help make your ribs super tender and uh, give them nice clean. Usually it'll specify peeled if, uh, if it's going to be a peeled rib. Uh, the peeled rib would have that off, but most that you're going to buy in the store, whether it's at Sam's Club, hy -Vee, wherever you go to get yours, uh, even a butcher shop, they might peel it for you if you ask for it. Next thing we do is we have our own house rub. What we do is we add a little more brown sugar when we're doing our ribs, just to make them a little sweeter. Um, and so we're pretty generous with our rub here. So what you're going to do is you're going to sprinkle your rub on, and then you really want to get in there and rub it in so it soaks in. When we're smoking, what we do, we run our smoker at about, it's pretty low, we run it about 200 to 220 degrees. So it's gonna be three hours just like this on the smoker. And then we're gonna take them out, we're gonna wrap them in foil for two hours. And then you take them out of the foil and you actually barbecue sauce them and smoke them for another hour. It's kind of the traditional three, two, one rule. If you keep smoking them like this, after about three hours, this isn't gonna absorb any more smoke flavor. And so we're actually gonna put them in a pack and we spray ours with a mixture. We can do apple cider, apple juice. We have our mixture that we use. You spray them and then you fold them into the uh, aluminum foil. And then that'll actually help kind of braise them and keep them moist instead of drying them out. It's kind of whatever flavor you wanna add after that smoke. So you're de developing layers of flavor as you go. You can also play with your rub, put different flavors in your rub. Um, whether you want to have it more spicy, add more cayenne, or you know, in general, or uh, it's a really playful thing. You can find what you like and find your niche, but you know, the art of smoking is actually an art. This is, this looks like an absolute feast, and I'm so prepared. I did have to ask for a napkin though because I don't. I'm, I'm worried for my white curl neck. Maybe not the best of ideas to wear on a day where we're going to yeah, try some ribs. Just white. Clothing White but clothing period. I'm gonna be more of like a hog, and I'm not gonna wear like a bib. <laughs> I'm gonna just keep it on my on my lap. I love ribs. <laughs> you look so at peace. Don't talk to me for the next. 40 minutes. <laughs> if we don't talk, it's you know it's good. You know. Now I am gonna be eating a real proper. Look at that. <laughs> you know in like fancy restaurants where they do it like in a circle and then it all only gets on the plate. So are you gonna are you gonna try making ribs now? I just told you I don't want to do it. What? Yeah. Hmm. In my cover. So are you gonna try? No. I'm inspired. <laughs> I'm inspired. But I think 9 a.m. ribs. <laughs> Brunch, what are you talking about? Oh, brunch, yeah. <laughs> a light little brunch. Where are my mimosas? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can find Third Street Tavern inside the Cronsbrook Hotel at 408 South Third Street in St. Peter. Well, still to come on Cato Living, a first ever fundraising event for a local art center with style. One organizer with the Carnegie Art Center joins us to talk about the upcoming pop and art brunch event. Stay with us. We'll be right back.